guys, before we get started, don't forget to check out Inside the Mech Box, brought to you by airsplat.com. You can find this on youtube.com slash airsplat.com. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to install a switch assembly to a version 2 gearbox. Now this is not going to be a complete tutorial on how to get all the electrical components in, just the switch assembly or wire harness, whatever you want to call it. Now go ahead and flip your gearbox shell over. Keep in mind that these are all sm spare parts. These are not things that I am using. They are just things that I've had in my uh, parts collection and they are not the highest quality parts. They're just to represent what you need to do in your side of your gearbox. First thing you want to do here is slide your selector plate in. This is a weird G and G one. It doesn't slide in like all the others. Usually you can just take them from the left and slide them in to the right. After that I would recommend taking your cutoff lever and installing it. That goes right here. Now on the other side of the gearbox again there's a very very small spring that goes right here. Be careful installing this. If you lose it, it is a pain to replace. It's very, very small. It's about two millimeters wide. Take your time installing it, please. Now, next here, let's go ahead and focus on the actual wire harness here. Now, just focus on this plastic assembly here for a minute. It goes right here. It should just snap into place. There's a little peg on the top up here, right about here. Make sure that is aligned properly. Now, make sure your trigger shuttle this doohickey that slides back and forth is already in there because you can't install it once this thing is installed so make sure it's sitting in there. should have a little spring right here. Go find that if you don't. And a little screw right here. Now the screw for the most part should hold the switch assembly in place. It's not going to rock back and forth too much. After that you can go ahead and install this little spring here. Might have to press it down a little bit. Sometimes they are uh, the dimensions are a little off. Now this is the part you guys probably all want to see, all you uh, beginners out there that are a little confused in the wiring. Keep in mind that this is for a rear wired assembly for a full stock or a crane stock or something similar. Now for a standard switch assembly the red wire is always going to go in the front, black wire is always in the back. This is not true for some uh, custom FET systems that people may install. I've had to do it reverse before. So keep in mind this is for a standard switch assembly to the rear. You're going to have a cross over here. It's going to go under where the motor shaft comes in. You want the red wire going in there. Black wire stays in the back here. And sometimes it is a pain to get these things pressed down in these trenches, so take your time. Try not to bust any wiring. Once you have all this installed, make sure your red wire going to the front here is going over the red wire that goes to the back to the battery. This is really not very complex. Just make sure you get a good look at this. Now this is very important. This red wire that goes in this little trench here, make sure that is flush with your gearbox shell against it. That way, when you put your motor shaft up through here, it doesn't get torn up. Sometimes that can create a short, and that's really not good for your electrical system at all. Now, I'm not going to show it here, but the front wired assembly is actually very similar. Basically, you're going to have your both your red wires still hooked up to the switch assembly. You never want to have a black one hooked up here. Basically, the switch assembly acts as a brake in the red wire. If you hook it up to the black one, you're just going to get all kinds of screwy stuff going on. Your black wire is going to feed in from the battery, and there's a little port right here that all these wires are going to go through. Black wire is going to connect to your battery, goes straight from your, mo from your motor to the battery. The black wire is going to be in this trench here. It's going to go out the back, so your black wire is going to be on the bottom. This red wire here is going to be positioned exactly the same as it is to the rear wired assembly. Do not change that. If it's rear or front wired, it's exactly the same. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. The next episode of Tech Tips is going to be on how to grease a gearbox and what kind of lubricants you should use. Also, don't forget to check out Inside the Mech Box on airsplat.com on youtube.com. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.